Hi folks, uh, this is just a quick overview of uh, Mitel Phone Manager. Um, you can see here that uh, we have a, a view of uh, uh, people's status in the business and I can collapse these uh, groups here and I can decide which groups I'm interested to see by looking at uh, th this list here. Um, green means that this user is free uh, and if it's red they would be busy on a call. Um, if they are Hollow, it means they are free, but they're not logged into Phone Manager. So if I wanted to chat to Amy, I would know that she wouldn't see that chat straight away. Whereas if I chat to Sam, the probability is he's going to respond quickly. Um, I also have this uh, call history here, so I can see recent calls. And if I want to, I can just click a button to call it back. Or alternatively, I can just click a button here and play the recording of that if you have the integration to the Zarios uh, call recorder. And then up here we have uh, some great features. You can log in and out of your hot desk uh, extension. And then this row of features across here includes do not disturb if you wanted to set a do not disturb type. Uh, you can log in and out of ACD hunt groups. Uh, you can log in and out of UCD hunt groups or, or extension based groups. This allows you to interact with the voicemail and see whether you've got any outstanding messages. There's a dial pad here if you need it for an auto attendant you might dial. And you can set your forwarding state you can chat to people, uh, you can have additional toolbars if you've uh, had those configured for you, and if you're a member of the Campaign Manager outbound dialing team, then you would launch Campaign Manager from here. This window here is just a directory, so I can just start typing and it will shortcut to a, uh, to a contact, um, and as soon as it finds that contact, um, I can uh, decide where the uh, uh, contact comes from. So in, in this case, I can see this is a, a normal directory contact, uh, but here I can see there's an extension on the phone system, starting with Steve D. There's a hunt group also, but there's also an Outlook contact. So it's very interesting to see that we can pool various different sources of data um, and make them available in one place. I can change the layout here if I wish. So I can make this uh, smaller and uh, the icon smaller and I can have additional columns here if I if that's how I, I would prefer to customize uh, my screen um, with the soft phone version so I can make this uh, a soft phone if I wish uh, rather than uh, tether my uh, mo uh, phone manager to a desk phone um, I can also get these additional five buttons here that I can configure myself um, so so I would just right click edit the button uh, and decide what I'd like that button to do so there's a range of features here uh, that I can I can make it do, or I can just select one of the feature codes off the off the PBX. It automatically downloads all of the feature codes, or, uh, so that you don't have to maintain uh, that list. One of the next features that's useful uh, is what we call our toaster or our call banner. Um, and when an incoming call comes in, I can uh, see that the, the call's ringing, and I can color code this banner according to the importance of the caller. So. The most important thing here is uh, this toaster helps me control the call. I can mute the call or I can hold or transfer or consult to, to, to transfer the call. Um, and any time I've got more than one call in progress, the banner expands and allows me to handle up to four calls simultaneously. Another great feature is, uh, is highlight and dial. So anywhere I see a telephone number in Windows, I can simply highlight it as long as it'll copy into the clipboard. I can uh, assign a, a shortcut key to that or I can just double click the icon in the corner here and it will dial that number. And that's it, just a quick overview. Uh, look on the uh, YouTube channel for more detailed uh, videos on specific integration. Thanks for watching.